Good morning students how are you all welcome to your robotics class today we learn how to make circuit diagrams with the use of tinkercad and how to use the tinkercad Good morning everyone how are you all i hope you are fine okay so let we start today's robotics project which name is automatic street light how automatic street light works when it's dark street light will automatically glow okay automatically starts and when it's day then street light automatically glows it's off okay so let me start make how to make the street light on tinkercad fine first you have to take the breadboard on one side you have to take breadboard on another side you have to take arduino uno fine on left hand side here is arduino uno and right hand side here is breadboard first you need to connect the led go to search bar write led here see you see the led led has two legs one is anode and one is cathode which is slightly turned which is slightly uh, turned it's called anode and which is straight it's called cathode so what we do connect the anode part to arduino pin number 6 and connect the cathode part to arduino pin number 7 let's how we do this simple insert it in arduino anode connect with 6 pin and cathode connect with 7 pin fine let's take photo resistor what is photo resistor and what photo resistor does photo resistor just to analyze the darkness or light means when the dark light will glow up and when the when there is no dark then light will not glow up simple okay photo resistor is uh, just analyze the radiations of the sun that's called a photo resistor okay connected with the breadboard connect on the breadboard then then take a wire connect take a wire any color no any color you want okay with minus 3 sorry pwm3 to terminal 2 this is terminal 2 and this is terminal 1 connect arduino d3 part to terminal 2 of photo resistor clear now take resistor same no need of change the value 1 kilo ohm just check the position and connect with terminal 2 of photo resistor that's how i am doing fine now connect terminal 1 of photo resistor to ground pin change the wire of the color you will get no confusion this is the terminal 1 na in same row you have to connect a wire just double click then move to the ground of arduino double click done how this connection is complete okay now next is connect terminal 2 of resistor connect with 5 volt of arduino fine 
this is how we do now my circuit is almost complete then by the use of arduino we have to write a code go to blocks just click on text then continue and write here a code our code is in c++ language let's solve it void setup wait wait a moment please again void setup pin mode free input semicolon then copy this just change the number pin put 6 its output it gives result and pin mode 7 it's also in output fine then serial dot begin 9600 it's a port okay at this at this will do our practical our project will begin fine now curly braces close then void loop loop means is continuously do the work int is integer means variable int light underscore sensor is equal to digital read 3 semicolon fine now serial don't print ln light underscore sensor I will explain what the code will say and delay thousand fine if light sensor is equal to one then digital write six high and just copy i'm copying this seven low fine else i'm just copying this six also low fine okay so what code will say there is just check the arduino board with pin numbers okay pin number three is the input pin number six and seven are the output because led will connect the 
six or seven and LED is the output of this project okay and when the code will start at nine six zero zero four will code the start okay and int is a variable we have to write the integer value in the variable and we have given any name suppose light sensor and digital read it means digital read it reads the pin number three which is connect to photoresistor terminal two it delays then it delay thousand millisecond its time is millisecond if light sensor readings one then digital write six or seven is high or low high or low and if not then digital six or seven low because in darkness we have no need of sorry in darkness we have need of light and without darkness we have no need of light fine so let's start simulation oh here is error what error yeah i hope it's clear now start simulation yeah there is darkness see there is darkness so light will glow and if there is sunlight light will not glow see glow not glow glow not glow i hope this is clear to everyone okay if there is any need of query if there is any queries then please come in the class and we will solve it together then stop simulation i hope it's clear and here is code you have write the code and the code language is very sensitive so you have to write code as like as this okay which is capital you write capital which is small you write small and put the semicolons brackets you have seen if we i have not semicolon here so it gives the error okay then please okay again start simulation just click on the polar uh, photo resistor in darkness it is the darkness then light will glow and there is no darkness then light will not glow simple fine stop simulation i hope it's clear to you everyone okay Thank you.